How's it going, people? Well, I have the urge to read another chapter. But first, I think I'm going to have some uh, double dog, double pale ale. I don't, I've never had this. Can you see the crazy werewolf looking whatever in his or her underwear? That's crazy. But better than drinking. Oh, what was it? Hog Heaven. Oh, that was so good. Double pale, huh? That doesn't look so pale to me. Section 5 of the DNC. Revelation given through Joseph Smith the Prophet at Harmony, Pennsylvania, March 1829. Three witnesses to the Book of Mormon are promised, of whom Martin Harris is to be one, if he shall prove himself worthy. Baptism is foreshadowed, but as no one had at this time been ordained to minister the ordinance, uh, patient waiting is enjoined. Note that ordination followed a few weeks later. See section 13. Yeah, eventually. When I get there. One page at a time, folks. One word at a time. <laughs> One. Behold, I say unto you that as my servant Martin Harris has, de a des wait, has desired a witness at my hand that you, my servant Joseph Smith, Junior, have got the plates of which you have testified and borne record that you have received of me. Well, that's God talking. I don't know, man. That trumps everything. He says it's real. God does. So, I don't know, man. Well, let's read some more. Two. And now, behold, this shall you say unto him, He who spake unto you, said unto you, I, the Lord, am God, and have given these things unto you, my servant Joseph Smith, Jr., and have commanded you that you should stand as a witness of these things. Three. And I have caused you that you should enter into a covenant with me that you should not show them except to those should not show them except to those persons to whom I command you. And you have no power over them except I grant it unto you. For and you have a gift to translate the plates and this is the first gift that I bestowed upon you. And I have commanded that you should pretend pretend to no other gift until my purpose is fulfilled in this. Pretend. For I grant unto you no other gift until it is finished. Five. Verily I say unto you that woe shall be 
come unto the inhabitants of the earth, if they will not hearken unto my words. 6. For hereafter you shall be ordained to go forth and deliver my words unto the children of men. Behold, if they will not believe my words, they would not believe you, my servant Joseph. If it were possible that you should show them all these things which I have committed unto you. Eight. Oh, this unbelieving and stiff-necked generation! Mine anger is kindled against them. In 1829. Nine. Behold, verily, I say unto you, I have received those things which I have entrusted unto you, my servant Joseph, for a wise purpose in me, and it shall be made known unto future generations. Wow. Interesting. Whew! That's had some kick. Uh, ten. But this generation shall have my words through you, Joey. Eleven. And in addition to your testimony, the testimony of three of my servants, whom I shall call and ordain unto, whom I will show these things, and they shall go forth with my words that are given through you, Joey Jr. Twelve, yea, they, they shall know of a charity that these things are true. For from heaven will I declare it unto them. Thirteen. I will give them power that they may behold a view of these things as they are. Fourteen. And to none else will I grant this power to receive this same testimony among this generation. In this the beginning of the rising up and the coming forth of my church. This is God talking. This is his church. Those other ones are just wasting their time. My church out of the uh, wait. My church out of the wilderness, raising up my and coming forth of my church out of the wilderness, clear as the moon, and fair as the sun, and terrible as an army with banners. Okay, nice try. Uh, Fifteen. And the testimony of three witnesses will I send forth in my word. 16. And behold, whosoever believeth in my words, them will I visit with the manifestation of my spirit. And they shall be born of me, even of water, and of the Spirit, 17. And you must wait yet a little while, for ye are not yet ordained. 18. And their testimony shall also go forth unto the condemnation of this generation if they harden their hearts against them. 
19. For a desolating scourge shall go forth among the inhabitants of the earth, and the inhabitants of the earth and shall continue to be poured out from time to time. If they repent not, until the earth is empty, and, in, and the inhabitants thereof are consumed away and utterly destroyed by the brightness of my coming. <sighs> Twenty. Behold, I say unto you, these things, even as I also told the people of the destruction of Jerusalem, and my word shall be verified at this time as it hath hitherto been verified. <laughs> 21. And now I command you my servant Joseph to repent and walk more uprightly before me and to yield to and to yield to the persuasions of men no more. 22. That you be firm in keeping the commandments wherewith I have commanded you. And if you do this, behold, I will grant unto you eternal life. And some ruby slippers. Which you can click together your own private teleporter. You know, all that magic shit is real. They wouldn't have written that down in a book if it wasn't true, right? Just gotta have faith. Uh, I grant unto you eternal life even if you should be slain. Jihad! 23 and now, again, I speak unto you, my servant Joseph, concerning the man that desires the, the man that desires the witness. 24. Behold, I say unto him, he exalts himself and does not humble himself sufficiently before me. But if he will bow down before me and humble himself in mighty prayer and faith, in the sincerity of his heart, then will I grant unto him a view of the things which he desires to see. Whatever you want to be real, well, damn it, it's real. To you. That's good enough, right? Fuck reality. Reality is a downer. It doesn't promise you anything except you're going to die and your molecules are going to become something else. 25! And then, he shall say unto the people of this generation, Behold! I have seen the things which the Lord hath shown unto Joseph Smith, Jr. And I know of a surety that they are true. Wow, it's pretty convincing. For I have seen them, for they have been shown unto me by the power of God and not man. What does that mean? Wait. What? The power of God, but not men, huh? And you should see the things you desire to see. The preceding verse. What the fuck? Wow. 
26. And I, the Lord, command him, my servant. This is piano chocolate, by the way. And isn't that sexy? You can go to jamendo.com and download this for free. Or donate them a little Christmas cheer. Or just comment. Check out the... It's a great site. Check it out. jamindo.com. Royalty free. Just give them attribution. And I give them a link back to their page down below. They've got like two albums and two five song EPs. <sighs> My servant, Martin Harris. That he shall say no more unto them concerning these things. Except he shall say, tell him what to say, huh? Wow. Tell you what to think, tell you what to say. <sighs> I have, this is what you tell him to say, huh? I have seen them, the plates, and they have been shown unto me by the power of God. And these are the words which he shall say. 27. But if he deny this, he will break the covenant which he hath has uh, before command. The covenant which he has before covenanted with me. And behold, he is condemned. So fuck him, right? He blew it. 28. And now, except he humble himself and acknowledge unto me the things which he has done, which are wrong, and covenant with me that he will keep my commandments and acknowledge Exercise faith in me. Behold, I say unto him, He shall have no such views, for I will grant unto him no views of the things which I have spoken. I'm, I, I'm used to getting almost no views. It's all right. <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> 29. And if this be the case, I command you, my servant Joseph, that you shall say unto him that he shall do no more, nor trouble me any more concerning this matter. Little, little bit of peak there, huh? little miffed, isn't he? 30. And if this be the, the if this be the case, behold, I say unto thee, Joseph, when thou hast translated a few more pages, thou shalt stop for a season even until I command thee again. <sighs> then thou mayest translate again after a season. <laughs> 31. And except thou do this, behold, thou shalt have no more gift, and I will Take away the things which I have entrusted with thee. 32. And now, because I foresee the lying in wait to destroy thee, ye, uh, yea, I foresee that if 
my servant Martin Harris, Martin Harris humbleth not himself, and receive a witness from my hand, and he will fall into transgression. 33. And there are many that lie in wait to destroy thee from off the face of the earth. Just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they're not really out to get you, right? <laughs> and for this cause, that thy days may be prolonged. We'd like that, right? I have given unto thee these commandments. <laughs> Thirty-four. care for this. Okay. <sighs> Shed more Killian's red. 34. Yay. For this cause, I have said, stop and stand still until I command thee. Talk about control. And I will provide means whereby thou mayest accomplish the thing which I have commanded thee. 35. And if thou art faithful in keeping my commandments, thou shalt be lifted up at the last day. Amen, he promises. And that's it for section five, and that's it for me. I hope you learned something, and if you did, chime in. I'd like to know. Comment section is unfiltered. Just don't spam me, because that annoy that's annoying. And I will click, this is spam. Comments, say what you want to say. Educate me. Video responses automatically approved. So, peace, fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. And, uh, I'm gonna read another chapter after this. Right. Let's plow through this. So I'm gonna get to Pearl. Damn it.